Let's get some cheap rental houses, guys. Right now, I'm going to show you how to buy rental houses for under $50,000. I'm going to give you five different rental markets to buy rental properties under this replacement value, meaning the cost of what it would take to build the property today. You can actually buy properties under that replacement value. I'm going to show you some markets you can do this in. Now, there's pros and cons of nicer luxury rentals versus low-end uh, rental properties that we're looking at today. But all the time, all across the country, you can buy rental properties for tens of thousands of dollars. In some markets, you can actually have the cities give you properties for free. Now, I film a lot of case studies on my channel using the, the number $100,000 because for one, it helps the math work out, but it also is a great price point to be buying rental properties in, or if you're doing creative financing, like owner financing, this is a good price point to be in. And I see the questions coming in all the time. Uh, they're not even really questions anymore. They're just statements. This guy's an idiot. There's no such thing as a house under $100,000. You can't buy houses this cheap. Where is this guy living? You know, is he living in a, in a gutter somewhere? Guys, unless you want your tenants to be your neighbors, you can buy property all across North America. In fact, it's a big mistake I see a lot of investors make is they think they need to stay geographically restricted in their local market. Now, yes, there's some massive benefits for being close to rental properties and having a network in your area of contractors and, and all the different individuals that you need to go out to the property, the property management companies, but you have these individuals in every major market. It just takes a little bit more work. So right now, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you inside of Zillow. I'm going to go through five different markets. And we're going to look at some houses that are under $50,000. So let's pop on in here right now and show you how to find these properties. Okay. So first thing is, let's go to Zillow. As you can see, I'm naturally defaulted to Dallas. But what I want you to do is come up here to buy in the top left and just go to for sale by owner. What that's going to do, it's going to pull up all the properties that are just someone just like you, me, John down the street are trying to sell their property on Zillow as a for sale by owner. Now, what you're going to do over here is the first market I want to show you is Gary, Indiana. So I have a lot of friends that buy houses in this market and also all over Indiana. There's Fort Wayne, Indiana. So there's some really cheap markets in Indiana. And look at these properties right here, guys. There's 19 results. So I'm going to sort from low to high. You can see this first house is $7,000. Now it's a 900 square foot house. And yeah, it looks like it needs some work. Most of these will need work, guys. But think about it. How much does it cost to full, fully renovate a $900, uh, 900 square foot house? You should be all in with the, uh, that property uh, maximum $20,000, even if you're having to do some pretty major work. Now this one right here, another $7,000 house, another $7,000 house. So let's see if we can get in here and just kind of take a closer look. <laughs> well, that's what a $7,000 house looks like. This is a bad example. It has no roof to it, but you can go get it for seven grand. Let's take a look at this one for $8,000. Okay, not so bad. So that's not that bad. I mean, I know a lot of you are like, that is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. But guys, you're buying a house for $8,000. It's 700 square foot. I promise you, you can probably renovate this property right here. I can knock this thing out for $15,000, $20,000 uh, and make it super nice. And then think about it. You're all in low 30s. Think about if you rent it for $500, $800 a month. I don't know what their rent market is going for. But I'm just showing you that you don't need to buy expensive real estate. Another one that's $10,000, $8,000, $13,000, $20,000. Look at this one. That's a big property for $22,000. Now, it's also going to have a massive renovation cost. It's probably not a good example there. I just really want you to see uh, properties like this. This one looks like a little bit better shape. So this, is a, this was somebody already started this property, already has got a lot of siding up there. Looks like a new roof to me. Already got new cabinets in it, new floors. So somebody started this and ran out of money. I mean, this property right here, guys, does not need a lot of work. You could probably finish this property out, who knows, $15,000, you're all in for $40,000. Now, yes, there are some issues in low price point markets, high eviction rates, high crime rates, but they have high cash flow in return for dollar invested if you are good at filling the property with quality people. So there's pros and cons. I have another video of talking about pros and cons, talking about luxury listings versus, uh, or luxury rentals versus low price point rentals, you guys could, should go check that out. So Gary, Indiana is one of the markets that you guys, as well as all across Indiana, that you can buy cheap rental properties. You can see right here, for all the people that say I'm crazy for saying that you can buy a $100,000 rental property, look at these properties right here, $20,000, $30,000. Now the next one I wanna show you guys is Akron, Ohio. Okay, price low to high. You can see right here, $12,000 house, $18,000 house, $47,000, $48,000, $49,000, $54,500. Now, a lot of these houses are actually already ready to go. 
some of them are a little bit cheaper, but just also have to understand guys, these are not properties that are being marketed to off market. These are public, which means that everybody can see these. So think about what these prices are right here. You guys know what a public property is on sale for in your market than what you can actually buy it for when you market directly to sellers. So you can probably pick these properties up for $25,000 all day long, 10, $15,000 in all in cost under 400,000 all in cost under 40,000. And a lot of times you can rent these properties for seven, $800. So Akron, Ohio is another market. Ohio has got some great rental properties. Now this one right here, Birmingham, Alabama. Okay. Now this one's a $5,000. looks like a tear down a lot, but you guys can see right here, $6,000 house. Look at this thing. Now that's what a $6,000 house looks like. They're, they're making sure you know it's a house right here in the picture. But yeah, so it's going to be a lot of work, but think about it. You put in $40,000. Uh, I mean, that house is ready to go. You're still in under $50,000. Look at this one. Now that's an $8,000 house. We also call those sheds where I'm from. No, I'm just kidding. They're actually just selling the land here, probably uh, unless there's a house behind it embedded but i was just making a joke here um okay you can see right here eight thousand dollar house eighty two hundred dollar house ten thousand dollar house ten thousand dollar house nobody said these are going to be nice luxury houses but guys what you need to realize is not everybody lives the lifestyle that you have people cannot live in a bush or tree and with the way the world is moving right now access to affordable housing is going to be more and more powerful going forward now think about this you could not build this house right here for twenty thousand dollars let's take a look at repair costs I mean, it's, it's okay. It's not bad. I mean, you could probably just clean this up and put a little bit of work into it, it. When you guys are renovating low end properties, you don't need to put granite in there. You don't need to go and put it up to the nines. Now there's some issues here, but let's say you got this house for 16,000 that came down 17,000. You put 15, 20,000 in it. You're all in under $40,000, right? That's affordable living uh, for a lot of people. They're going to need a house to live in. And right here, you can find these properties all over Birmingham, Alabama, for $50,000 or less. Now they're gonna need some work, but look at this house right here, 15 grand. Looks bad, right? But nothing some tough love can't fix, okay? Now, this is a market that a lot of people I know in, or a lot of people I know invest in, Jackson, Mississippi, okay? You can see similar types of properties, but right here, this is a little bit nicer house than those other ones, right? This is a brick house for $7,000. I don't care how much work it needs. Look right here, full renovation on this house. I could probably be all in on this, in this property for 40 to $50,000. I'm talking like blown out to the nines, super nice. You can see right here, 14,500, 15,000. So this is a, a market where you can see like, this is a pretty nice house right here, guys. $15,000 for this house. Even if it needs a full renovation, you're gonna be in fifty, sixty thousand dollars or less. Take a look at this one right here. I mean, look at this house, guys. Sixteen thousand, yeah, it needs a new roof. You could probably clean these carpets and rent this place as is. It's not like this is that bad. People need a place to live. Now, if you're watching this right now, do you think someone would pay four or five hundred dollars a month just if you clean this out? and made it a little, uh, a little bit nicer. You can see these properties are getting up in uh, quality a little bit. So here's what $35,000 house looks like. Guys, these are properties right there on the internet. Now I'm sure you could probably get this for 30,000, 1700 square feet. It doesn't look to be in too bad a condition. You can just come in here, put 15, 20 grand in. So I'm trying to paint the picture of guys is that you guys can buy these houses and be all in under $50,000 all day. Now, last one I want to show you guys is Detroit, Michigan. Now, it's not just that these are the exact cities. These are the markets. Think about where these markets are situated in, and you can look at all the surrounding cities. I promise you guys, there are cheap rental properties all across North America that you can be all in under $50,000 that will rent for $800 plus. They're all over the place. You just have to know where to look and to actually believe that they're out there because uh, it's just been a little bit concerning to me that I, I have a lot of you guys watch the channel. And when I say we're buying $100,000 rental properties, you think that somehow we're lying or that somehow that these don't exist. These markets are all across the country. These are actually cheaper. So I like to be in the, in the $100,000 to $150,000 price point. And the reason why I like this is because it's a high enough price point that you can see appreciation in the market. 
also you're going to get right there in the middle of the average um, corporate earner, uh, a nice family, someone making 40 to 80K a year. This is pr uh, pretty uh, price comparative to what they're looking for. Some are a little bit more than this, some are a little bit less, but you're going to have quality tenants that tr treat your property well, that you have the potential of equity appreciation, and you're getting a decent principal pay down, and the cash flow is still good. Once you get above 200K and up, it's getting a little bit more difficult to find cash flow properties. And then once you get down to these price points, yeah, you can buy these. I know a lot of people that have a lot of these types of properties that make a lot of money doing it, but they also have a lot of headaches. You're going to have some high eviction rates, um, a lot of maintenance issues going forward. But I mean, look at these guys. Here's Detroit, $14,000 houses. So, I mean, yeah, it's got going to have some work. I know some of you guys that don't renovate houses a lot. That looks probably really, really bad to you. Those of you who renovate a lot of houses realize, you know, you can fix these up pretty quickly. So just give me a couple more examples, guys. But that that's kind of what I wanted to paint the picture for. You do not have to invest in your own market. There's properties all across the internet in different markets that you can get into, buy them cheap, renovate them, have a nice renovated property all in $50,000. You don't even need to go to the bank and finance these. You can do these cash out of pocket. And uh, that's why I want to show you guys. All right.